one of the intrinsic phenomena of like persistent phenomena which is seen in perovskite solar cells is about hysteresis so they do so hysteresis iv curve like if we do positive scanning from 0 to 0.1 volt of 0 to say 0 0.81 0 0.8 volt or 1 volt if we scan the iv curve positively uh, they will show one type of iv curve if we reverse the scan say from 1 to 0 1 volt to 0 volt if we decrease down the like in this reverse, reverse direction if we do if we do scanning the iv curve shape changes okay so uh, can we do can we simulate this, that kind of uh, iv curves in scaps so uh, if i go to this caps and if i put 0.8 like v1 to be higher and v to be 0 then increment is 0 0.01 so it is not negative and we cannot take put negative value so uh, it comes out that uh, 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 reverse scanning of iv is not possible in scaps so in that case what we can do say to, to simulate the hysteresis iv curve of uh, perovskite for that what we can do we can take defect models so in one defect model we will be like uh, in, uh, like uh, putting down the conditions for observed for the positive scanning and in the second uh, defect model we will put in the condition for uh, 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 like reverse scanning conditions okay so if i just show you i have this file uh, pin structure so p p type layer i type intrinsic layer n type layer okay so this is this is the structure i have used already and in this structure what uh, what is required here is we have taken two type of defect so this is p type defect so basically it will have accepted defect okay so uh, what you can do you can pause the video and then you can watch or see all the defect labels what we have taken okay so it is p type and with the accepted defect okay and this is n type with the donor defect so it must have donor defects okay so it must have donor defect for the case of positive scanning okay and uh, i is intrinsic layer all the parameters are shown you can stop the video and see and have a look on the material parameter which i have used now in this structure if i just simulate this structure if i just uh, clear all simulation and give from 0 to 0 to say uh, 1.5 volt because band gap of perovskite is 1.5 so from 0 volt to 1.5 volt i am giving and stop after vc now let me just run this simulation uh, single sort so you can see this is IV, this is the band diagram uh, of the device and we will have a look on the final iv curve so you can see the final iv curve is looking like perfect all these parameters are shown voc fill factor jsc and efficiency now in this structure what i will do uh, i will now this is this is the case for forward scanning now if i simulate try to simulate for reverse scanning so in the reverse scanning what will happen uh, it is already known that uh, this uh, if i show you this figure uh, you can see uh, positive pooling or negative pooling positive pooling means post like forward wise and negative pooling neg negative biased so uh, this uh, perovskite have lot lot of like mobile lines okay so they do move or they do get polarized and uh, and follow the whatever applied biases okay so when we when we try to follow say a negative bias or reverse scanning in that case what can happen uh, some of the ions can come from the bulk they can come to the interface or to the uh, p type layer from the inter, uh, intrinsic layer this is the intrinsic wide layer from there they can like align according to the reverse direction reverse voltage applied so what can happen so uh, some of the n type can come and uh, uh, can, uh, can come and get get collected at the p type so what i will do i will just uh, give it a donor type so one of the defect become donor type okay uh, others are same i am not changing anything else you can see now in the n type again one of the defect become positive charge uh, positive type or accepted type so you can see all the defect what i have taken now if i just simulate this, simulate this iv curve so this is this will this is uh, model 2 and it will give me uh give me um, iv curve which is like uh, equivalent to the reverse reverse pooling okay or uh, uh, reverse uh, reverse iv curve okay so if i just see the iv curve you can see so red one is for the positive iv curve and the blue one is for the reverse iv curve and then you can see a hysteresis type behavior which is occurring okay so this can be termed it uh, so uh, 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 hysteresis kind of phenomena can be 
simulated uh, like uh, uh, in this manner in this fashion it can be simulated and then we can term and then we can like tell why uh, the shapes are different okay so that's the thing that's the first thing uh, we can also do uh, interface if, uh, if if i take a separate structure so i have taken here stl and uh, uh, stl and uh, etl uh, layers uh, different la uh, de uh, defect variation at etl and stl now what i will do i will just go with the with the other structure so you can see in this structure here you have uh, uh, p type intrinsic type and n type okay so these three layers are shown so color is different uh, they are color is symbolizing uh, their nature okay now here the interface is being shown so interface layer 1 2 so 1 and 2 so layer 1 is our p type and then so the first interface is pi pi interface so a green one is i i type inter intrinsic layer or perovskite layer okay so at this interface we will take we will change the defect okay so uh, this is the interface like this is acceptor because this is a p type so acceptor will be occupying in the initial case like in the forward wise condition Similarly, here the donor div, the donor set, do, donor at the end side uh, jun junction. So this is the forward wide condi condition which we are simulating. Uh, if I just simulate, uh, if I just simulate this kind of behavior, you can see the IV curve uh, band diagram. Uh, you can see how it is evolving, and the perfect IV curve is being shown. Okay. Now what I do, uh, I don't need to do anything. Just interface if I reverse because of the uh, because of the reverse biasing. Uh, so nature of interface interface has uh, nature of the um, defect collected at the or ions has uh, changed at the interface because of reverse pulling or reverse biasing. What I did uh, basically at the pi what I had changed uh, donor defect I had taken and and uh, and I have taken accepted defect which is for which is like uh, model two or defect model two for reverse biasing and then if I just simulate it. Uh, you can see the band diagram. So this this band type band diagram type of uh, type uh, could uh, like can uh, is 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 signifying uh, reverse pooling or the reverse collection of charges. Okay, so now if I see the IV curve, you can see the hysteresis again. Okay, so so in this fashion, if we take so uh, like that, we can simulate out many different uh, phenomena. So light shocking behavior, we can for uh, like simulate. Uh, we can simulate say um, uh, various other uh, phenomena. We can simulate out. Uh, like impurity photovoltaics we can simulate so those things we can do in this caps taking use suitable uh, defect models so one need to only have uh, in-depth working knowledge of uh, knowledge of different solar cells different solar cell type and then uh, taking upon defect model we can uh, we can like equivalently simulate out those uh, experimental phenomena